So let's look at this problem. BE is 24. BE is this full length. Well, when these, the radius is perpendicular to the core, it bisects them, so it cuts into two equal measurements. 24 divided by 2 is 12, and 12. So CE is 12. AB is 18. I don't know AC. I will use Pythagorean theorem. I'll call it X. This is C because it's across from the hypotenuse. X squared plus 12 squared equals 18 squared. So X squared plus 12 squared is 144. 18 squared, we get 324. Subtract. X squared is 180. Square root of 180 is 13.4. So AC is 13.4. I got to find the length of CD. This full length here is 18 because it's the radius. So I subtract 13.4 from it. 4.6. AD is the radius we already discussed. It's 18. Let's refresh our memory about trigonometry. So Katoa. Sometimes some people like writing it like this. It indicates your fractions, the way they are written. So Katoa, you want to identify your opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always across from the 90 degree angle. Opposite, adjacent. I'm solving for x. Here's an x. Here's a number. Nothing here in hypotenuse. I'm not going to use it. Leave me with O and A. Toa. Tangent. Tangent of the angle is the opposite over the adjacent. Now x is the denominator, so to solve for it, I'm going to divide. I'm going to take 5, divide by tangent 40. 5, divide by tangent 40, is 5.95. I'll round that to 6. So let's look at a problem where we apply trigonometry. Here, we have an angle, 90 degrees, we're going to solve for BA, opposite hypotenuse, OH sine, sine of the angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. I'm going to solve for X, X is the denominator, I'm going to divide. 16 divided by sine of 25. 16 divided by sine 25 is 37.9. That's rounded. So now I know this length. But I still need to solve for this length. I'm going to call it y. Opposite, hypotenuse I already got. This is the adjacent. OA, TOA, tangent. Tangent of the angle equals the opposite over the adjacent. Y is the denominator. I will divide 16 divided by tangent 25. From that, I get 34.3. So this is now 34.3. So let's fill in some information. BA, 37.9. AC, 34.3. CD, well, this is the radius. It's congruent to that. So it's 37.9. This part of it is 34.3. I subtract it. 37.9 minus 34.3. 
3.6. CE, those two segments are congruent. 16, AD is the radius, therefore it's congruent to AB, 37.9. Let's look at another problem. Here, I don't have an angle, but we should remember the properties of our circles. This is a central angle, thus it's congruent to the measure of the arc, which is 65. So this is 65 degrees. Now we can do trig. Opposite, hypotenuse, sine. Sine of the angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. X is the denominator, we will divide. 12 divided by sine, 65. 12 divided by sine, 65, is 13.2. So this is now 13.2. Solve for AC, I will call this Y. Opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. O, A, TOA, tangent of the angle is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. Y is the denominator, divide. 12 divided by tangent of 65. 12 divided by tangent 65, we get 5.6. So let's fill in some information here. AB, 13.2. AC, 5.6. CD, that's this length. The whole thing is the radius, 13.2. Subtract 5.6. 7.6. CE, congruent, so it's 12. AD is the radius is 13.2. Those are the notes for section for unit 8 section 1.